Windows Steam. Windows Steam. Windows Steam. Windows Steam. Yeah. Okay. All right. What's going on Mac? Okay, maybe that's why. That's fun. All right, so basically, uh, we have a virtual window. Um, the idea is you have a video streaming from a remote location to a local monitor, and then you can change the direction of the camera's pointing based on uh, based on motion recognition from a uh, from an ACC device. Pretty simple, the idea. Um, there has a lot of applications. You can use it in a lab where you don't have windows. <laughs> like, like one example is like a yeah. have a lab right? and there's no window there. So it'd be nice if uh, like, like this, but the camera would be kept at a remote, like a window outside location. You can stream video. And then if say a user stands in front of the camera and moves around, mm -hmm. the, the camera at the remote location, at the window, would move in accordance to the, to the movement of the user in front of the... Uh, so, so as if you were looking around. So, yeah. right so if I look to the left, the camera will move outside uh, in the opposite direction. And then, uh, then you know, and if I move ahead, the camera will move up. And if I move ahead, the camera will move the opposite direction. So it gives me the effect of actually with the window. So it's controlled from the screen size. Yeah, it's, so it will be controlled from here. So we will start the actuation part. Um, the, so, okay, so I guess I'm a little confused and you need to straighten me out. Where, what are the pieces to this? Uh, okay, an internal camera, an external camera. So there's the camera which is going to be placed at the window. It's, it's up there. That is connected to a video board. Uh, that is streaming video uh, to my laptop. We have a flowchart over here. We have a flowchart over here. My laptop is also getting uh, a feed from this sensor here, which is track like my motion. And based on my motion, it can feed back to the camera and ask to move either the right or the left. This is an Xbox. It's an Xbox. It's kind of connected. Similar to this connection. Okay. So, yeah. So it's. It's not like my motion, so I can make that that guy move. So, um, how, so why would you both like so, so it's doing all the, so what's it giving you its output? Uh, basically, it, this guy will log on to uh, one user's center of mass, uh, get the coordinates out of that, and then uh, we transfer that coordinates to the vegan board. And based on that, uh, they move the camera. So if I move this tell you its center of mass, so you yeah. can just tell that you moved, yeah, yeah. walked, and so that. Yeah. Basically, you my X. Okay. Yeah. So, so you probably can't tell you. No. No. We. I think you can do that as well. You can calibrate it to the. Uh, you can calibrate it to capture and see more of the head or your hand. So what we've done is basically if you move uh, forward and backward, you make the camera move similarly uh, up and down. Up and down. Oh, up and down. And if you move to the right or to the left, the camera will move in the opposite direction, giving you the effect that it's looking out of the window like like this, or in the opposite direction. Okay. okay. I guess show us that. Yeah. Uh, uh, aren't there too many people? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Too many people. <laughs> <laughs> do, do we need to move back? Yeah. Yeah. That would be. That would be good. Is that? Is that all? Yeah. Is that all? Right yeah, yeah, so it's tracking me. So if I move behind. So where is the camera going? So okay, it's going to the Oh, yeah. so when you're behind, you would think the windows, you know, yeah. expand. Yeah, you're kind of looking up and try to move ahead. So there's a slight lag, as I showed you, but if I move ahead, then it will move uh, downwards. If I move to the right, to the left, sorry, then it moves in the opposite direction like this. And if I move again, slowly. So you can see, and use the effect as I'm looking out of the window like this. So, yeah, that's pretty much how it works. So what was